not getting enough playing time or didn't play at all last year, you got to address it in the offseason. You got to address it in the preseason. There's certain there's certain list of things that you need to do to find a way to play and to get the time that you deserve or the time that you think you deserve. So we're just going to talk about it. New Chanel, Mama and Gucci, got out the hoop to get yeah. Been through hell, carry the, carry the, life is a movie, yeah We prevail, now we do the coupies, don't do the groupies, yeah Got money for bail, don't act like you know me, knock off your coffee, yeah Flooded the road, you would eat them, her cake and trinity the me Blow the money like free me, I got a flex on the sleepers They trying to do me like season. you gotta watch for the creepers I got the eye of the season How you doing? I'm Harvey Harrington with Dream Chasers, and I want to talk about playing time. Everybody goes through this. Everybody goes through sitting on the bench behind somebody, not playing as much as what you think you should, getting getting opportunities in the game, and you're doing well, and maybe you get pulled out. Well, we all live this. So how do you combat this going into a new season? Season's over, and maybe you left, and now you're doing some training, or you're doing some AAU, or, or what have you, but... Now you're trying to figure out how can you make that puzzle piece fit into your your high school team, all right? So in the preseason, there's you, you need to start setting you need to start setting expectations for yourself. I mean, if somebody's playing ahead of you and maybe they're a year above or a couple years above, maybe you're a sophomore and they're a senior. I mean, I, I'd be thinking in the sense of I'm gunning for whoever whoever's at that spot. It doesn't matter what grade they're in. It doesn't matter the dues they put in. The coaches recognize who the players are and who can play, who can produce. So that would be one of the things that I'd be doing in the pre in the in the summer, getting ready for the preseason to kind of mold my game. So now I can be in a position that a coach will want to play me. So you got to start thinking about what are what are the things that in the in the system that you're playing in that will help you to get more minutes, and then individually. What can you do in order to maximize that? Start watching practice as a, as a coach's point of view. So if you're on the side and the drills are going on and you're next in line to go, I'd be watching. What, are the, what is the coach praising? What is the coach like? What, what is really helpful to help your system to, when the game is going to be on the line or, you know, in order to win games? Those are the things that the coaches are taking into consideration when they're thinking about playing time. When the season's over, I, I would be in that office. I'd be talking to the coach and just asking them, hey, what can I do to get better? What can I do in the offseason to add more value? What can I do that will get me the minutes on the floor that I feel like I deserve? Now, you have, you can't be sensitive when coaches talk to you. If they tell you something, you, you kind of got to take it to heart, but at the same time, you got to find a way to make that make you better. So for the offseason, if they're saying that they need you to make more mid-range shots or they need you to deliver the ball, those are the things that you need to work on. So talk to the coach, have the conversation, and then put that into maybe your training, maybe your uh, AAU circuit or whatever that you're doing in the summer so that when by the time the preseason comes, now you can step out because you're doing something that the coach has asked of you. Just know that ultimately there's always going to be favorites. I don't care who the coach is. The coach has a son or daughter on the team. If the coach has kids that, that they just like and they click with, there's always going to be favors. You can't use that as an excuse for why you're not playing. No, you need to focus on your game, period. Now, if you want to if you want to chase down who's ahead of you in a particular spot, then that's fine. I mean, show show what your value is over somebody else. That's, that's competing. But don't worry about, oh, well, somebody's a favorite – and just now I'm just going to throw in the towel. There's always going to be favorites in whatever team there is. And you can back that by playing your game and by you showing what you're worth. Ultimately, when that playing time comes, you have to capitalize. It's different than it's different playing the game of basketball versus training versus um, playing open gyms 
I mean, when the game gets on the line and you have to perform and you have to run sets and you have to be able to play defense a certain way, this is ultimately what's going to keep you on the floor. So when your time comes, you have to you have to be ready. And part of that is a little bit of mental preparation, but at the same time, you got to be able to bring it. Compete, compete, compete. I want to thank you guys for watching. This is Harvey Harrington with Dream Chasers Basketball.